My 2007 reviews are almost finished, and I'm Justin Joseph here on behalf of ProjectCUE.com with one from October 30th of that very year. This is all about Naruto Rise of a Ninja, exclusive to the Xbox 360. If you're any kind of Naruto fan, anime, games, whatever, you should know by now that the video game interpretations generally follow episodes 1 through 80 of the anime, and Rise of a Ninja continues that trend. If you want more specifics, read my written review, because this video counterpart is all about what makes the game fun and not so fun. Rise of a Ninja is an adventure title that introduces new elements to the fighting that many are familiar with in Clash of a Ninja and the exploration aspects of Ultimate Ninja. Essentially, Ubisoft, the developers, try to combine the best of both worlds. Kanoha, the village hidden in the leaves, can be fully explored. While there are general pedestrian paths to run along, you eventually gain the ability to sprint, double jump, and run up designated walls with chakra concentration, which effectively opens the entire place up to you. It's a lot of fun to do this and become lost in it for hours when just starting the game, as you're generally rewarded by finding the over 600 ancient and gold coins strewn throughout. Unfortunately though, the game has some nasty glitches that can halt your progress in an ugly manner. For example, running into traps can lock up your Xbox entirely. Another, trying to view your Xbox profile while the game is loading something may make the system reboot it entirely. Or, the ropes you grind throughout Kanoha have very strange entry detection on them, which forces you to annoyingly play around with them while trying to do ninja races or ramen deliveries. Still, problems aside, Rise of a Ninja is a solid game all around. It looks and plays great. On the graphical end, Ubisoft went with a 3D cell shaded hybrid to bring Kanoha and all of its inhabitants to life in every detail. Everything looks clean and polished, while all the characters animate well and look very convincing. That extends to the 101 battles too, which are complemented by awesome red and blue effects, which, in addition to the cutscenes that accompany each character's special jutsus and rage mode once activated. What's especially unique is that you have to pull the left trigger and make direct hand signs with the analog sticks to appropriate a special jutsu. It further authenticates the intentions of this game, as working through the minigame that comes with each jutsu makes every skirmish that much more unpredictable and exciting. Audio-wise, Rise of a Ninja is a real treat to fans and newcomers. Ubisoft employed themes from the actual anime series and their own compositions which are more subtle but still appropriate. The licensed songs may be looped a little too much while exploring Kanoha, but they're still extremely well placed and utilized. The same goes for the voice acting, with the exception of the incredibly annoying Jiraiya. Everyone sounds like they should, and that's telling you something considering I'm someone that's much more exposed to the Japanese series. Even the sound effects do the trick of making exploring the village and fighting whoever your opponents are a thrill to partake of. Finally, this Naruto game supports Xbox Live in that you can fight quick and custom fight mode style matches or participate in the unique interpretation of the Forest of Death Chunin exam. You have to win twice consecutively to score Earth and Heaven Scrolls and win one more decisive battle to pass the test for your chosen character and unlock achievement points accredited to your gamer tag. The experience is relatively lag-free, so if you enjoy online fighters or just Naruto games in general, we don't see why you wouldn't like this. I simply prefer on offline fighting with a friend who's on a similar scale of skill as you, as it just seems more gratifying that way. I just don't like fighting people who know the ins and outs of every character by heart. Thus brings me to the point where I have to assign a number out of 10 to Naruto Rise of a Ninja, and after careful consideration, I've decided on behalf of Project CUE, a solid 8.0, the lowest leg of our bronze medal, but still well deserved and a congratulations to Ubisoft for their efforts. For more information on this wide open Naruto adventure, please take a look at my written review and stick with us for future upcoming future reviews. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.